Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the virtual launching of our evolution of botanical illustration here at the National Museum Natural History National Museum of the Philippines. I'm John Ricaliado, museum researcher from the Botany and National Herbarium Division, and I'll be your host for today. We are also live now at the National Museum of the Philippines YouTube channel. Before we start, just a few reminders to our Zoom attendees. May we request all to turn off your video and mute your audio while we are in the virtual program is ongoing to avoid unnecessary interferences. Yesterday, we all mourn for a sad news. So now let's give a moment of silence to give respect for the passing of our former president, Benigno Aquino III. Good morning again, so let's wait for a few moments to start our program.
Good morning again to everyone, and welcome to the virtual launching of our Evolution of Botanical Illustration here at the National Museum of Natural History, National Museum of the Philippines. I'm John Ricaliado, Museum Researcher of the Botany and National Herbarium Division, and I'll be your host moderator for today. We are now live at the in the National Museum of the Philippines YouTube channel. So before we start, just a few reminders to our Zoom attendees. May we request all to turn off your video, mute your audio while the virtual program is ongoing to avoid unnecessary interferences. Yesterday, we all mourn for a sad news. So let's give a moment of silence to give respect for the passing of our former president, Benigno Aquino III. And now, to start the program, so Philippines is a mega diverse country with rich flora and fauna, including the native plants and animals, and especially endemic species. We are among the richest among the mega diverse countries. For centuries, taxonomies have always re relied on the imagery or drawings that the artists produce for their plant structures details when describing a new species. Having a sharp eye for detail, these scientific botanical illustrations have proven that no detail is too small to draw by an artist. So a botanical illustration is a collaboration between a botanist and an illustrator. Furthermore, these drawings you see before you is indeed a labor of love. As we continue to discover new species, illustrations such as this are still relevant to the times, whatever photography cannot capture. The artist can draw with patience and passion. So unlike an ordinary flower painting or plant portraits, uh, they only emphasize the painting with much less of botanical accuracy or just showing the natural colors of the various features of the flower, not emphasizing with the details of the actual plant. While botanical illustration, this one emphasized on the scientific record and botanical accuracy to enable identification of plant. So conventional botanical illustrations are made for live plants or herbarium specimens to illustrate a botanical text or monograph. So typically, the illustration will depict all the relevant aspects of the plant, including their life cycle and enable accurate identification. It frequently includes relevant dissection for the species. So scientific botanical illustrations were used in publication, journals, books, field guide, and exhibition. And to proceed with our program to formally welcoming everyone, our Deputy Director General for Museum of the National Museum of the Philippines. Everyone, please welcome Dr. Ana Maria Teresa P. Labrador. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, John Ray. As John Ray has said, um, the, the, the technology, the technique of, and the skill of uh, putting together um, scientific illustrations is really very important in our work. Um, as you know, we have the National Museum of Natural History, and I'm glad that uh, John Ray also suggested that we pause for, um, you know, a moment of silence for uh, the passing of our 15th president, uh, Benigno Aquino III. But he, he's actually enabled us to build the Natural History Museum with a seed fund of 500 million when we, in 2012, and that got us going. And of course, it's, a, it's been a team effort ever since. No? Um, scientific illustrations are really quite important in the National Museum of Natural History. It's sometimes overlooked as mere um, you know, drawings, no? but actually 
as, as, as a, a former academic and also I've been through, I, I started off as a zoology student in uh, UP Diliman. And then later on, uh, when I became an anthropologist, illustrations are really very important in keeping uh, our, our field notes no? um, uh, more, uh, far more accurate and also uh, emphasizing on certain things that you would notice from the field. No? And sometimes it is frustrating, like if you bring in like an artist who's not um, aware of uh, importance of uh, scientific illustrations, no? because they um, have not really kind of appreciated the kind of detail that we require in uh, scientific illustrations. And so I think some of our staff, um, like for instance, John Ray has become, uh, I think his, his artistic uh, passion is coming out more and more, and he's, uh, I think, recently just exhibited his uh, his work on the, uh, I think, the the forest uh, profile, no, uh, because it's part of our our project when we took around um, the um, mobile museum boxes, no. So so you know, it's it's worth really looking um, deeper into this, and uh, because uh, the title of this. This uh, exhibition is evolution of uh, botanical illustrations. No, we would like to really be uh, a bit more observant of the differences, no, of uh, botanical illustrations in the past, no, and in the present. And we should really keep this as part of our archive. And I think researchers who would be interested in this field should be able to access this uh, soon. No? So we're hoping that we could launch our new uh, website so that we could also put this up in our, um, our website. And then also so that um, you can gain more access to what we have. Eventually we would like to really keep a bigger resource center for uh, our scientific illustrations, not only botanical ones, but also zoological ones. So, so please, um, you know, uh, if you if please contribute to our undertaking, uh, we would like you to get to be more involved. Uh, we just opened last reopened last Saturday. Please visit the uh, all our museums, but especially the National Museum of Natural History. You have to pre-book first, but uh, it's it's supposed to be very easy. Uh, some of my friends who have come around have said that. So so do. Um, you know, enjoy uh, your um, national museum so that uh, you could also help us improve our, our, our work. So welcome everyone. Um, this is uh, really quite an important event for us. Please uh, enjoy the, the program. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mom Anna. So botanical illustration is a merge or love between research works and illustration. And now at this moment, our senior museum researcher from the Botany and National Herbarium Division will show some of the botanical art program by our division. So let us all welcome Maria Carissa B. Balane. Thank you, John Ray. Um, and again, thank you also, Ma'am Anna, for gracing this launching with us today. So good morning again, everyone. I am Isai, and let me take you uh, back to the past activities of the division. So for the past years, the Botany and National Herbarium Division has organized uh, various botanical art programs. So let's look at some of our programs. Okay, so these are, the, these are some of the leaf art workshops that we have organized in the past. So uh, the participants of these leaf art workshops are teens, uh, physically challenged students, the elderly, and the out-of-school youth. So as much as possible, we want to, um, we want to connect to different groups uh, in order also to promote inclusivity and equal access to the museum. So, Ito po yung mga pictures ng uh, aming activities. Yan, take a look at the, uh, the faces of the participants. You will see that they are really happy. 
Okay. Yan po. So, if you're also a follower of our uh, social media pages, you would probably see various um, social media posts about uh, botanical arts, botanical illustrations. Yan. And the most recent activity of the division prior to this uh, exhibit launching is the online botanical illustration workshop. So, organizing this online botanical workshop is really challenging. Lalo na po na dumating yung pandemic because all of our activities have shifted to online and virtual uh, activities. But after the event, after uh, the uh, after the workshop, the result is really fulfilling. So these are just some of the highlights of the event. Yan po. Um, the participants are tasked to illustrate an endemic species of plant. They were uh, tasked to draw Begonia Tito Evangeliste. So these are just some of the outputs submitted. Pero marami pa po yan. So... Um, these activities, uh, um, this, uh, organizing these activities is our way to promote botany. So we want our audience to know that botany can also be fun, especially through the arts and uh, crafts. So I think that's it. So I am puyo mga uh, activities and division. Thank you very much, and uh, back to you, January. Thank you very much, Isai. So hopefully after this pandemic, when everyone got vaccinated and we could uh, have another uh, hands-on workshop for leaf art workshop here in the National Museum of Natural History. So now uh, let's listen to the journey of our former artist illustrator here in the Botany and National Herbarium Division and his botanical illustration. So he is no other than Nemencio Jego Jr. or as his colleague called him as Boy Jego. He's a native from Pulilan, Bulacan. He has been connected with the National Museum of the Philippines since 1979. He started as a contractual artist on the project Materia Medica and later under new project Moss Flora of the Philippines. Some of his works include scientific illustrations of rattan from the Areca CE family, pollen grains, ferns, and medicinal plants, and other exhibition projects of the National Museum of the Philippines. For nearly three decades, Boy Jago has been do doing a lot of scientific illustration given by the researchers. Wondering about his academic background. Well, he wants to be an engineer, but shifted his line doing botanical illustrations in the Botany and National Herbarium Division. He is an artist and could be traced to his family lineage, whereas his sister is a visual artist. His father, Nemencio Diego Sr., is also an artist, but his uncle, Demetrio Diego, is more popular and has done lots of paintings. Actually, you can see some of their works in their ancestral home. So let's all welcome uh, Nemencio Diego Jr. Hanggang araw sa ating lahat. Ako'y lubos na nagpapasalamat sa mga pinuno na nakapag-isip ng ganitong klaseng mahalagang pagpapasinaya sa mga gumawa ng siyentipikong paglalahad ng mga halamang na tatangi dito sa ating bansa. Unang-una, salamat sa ating Director General, Deputy Director, at sa Officer in Charge ng Botany and National Herbarium Division na si Ginang J.B. Pascual at mga kasamahan sa Divisyon. Napakabilis ng panahon. Mula nang ako'y magsimula ng mag-illustrate ng mga halamang ito, ang isang illustration na may mga figura ng halaman ay inaabot ng mahigit isang linggo nang kami magsimula. 
Kailangan kasing maipakita ang detalyadong korte, tamang hugis, at pati ang mga alo ng dahon. At kung minsan, kapag ang halaman ay may mga maliliit na tinik sa kanyang dahon o sa tangkay niya ay may pakita ng maliwanag sa paguhi. Sa simula ay mahirap isipin gawin. Ngunit kalaunan ay nasanay na din kami. Paminsan-minsan kailangan gumamit kami ng magnifier o microscope para makita ang detalye at tamang hugis nito. Ang layunin ng isang drawing ay maipakita na parang buhay ang halaman. Kaya ang paggawa nito ay hindi madali, ngunit ang lahat ng hirap sa pag-iisip ay napapawi kapag ang aming mga gawa ay nailalagay na sa mga libro o mga sientipikong pahayagan. Nakakawala ng pagod, ika nga. Ang aming ginagawa dito ay sisimulan muna namin mag-layout, iguhit gamit ang lapis para ipakita sa mga researcher kung tama ba ang aming mga nasimulang gawa. Kapag nakuha na namin ang dapat ipakita, sisimulan na namin itong lagyan ng tinta, rotling o kaya stedler ang gamit namin. Kung means napapansin, Ibang-iba ang mga drawing na ito sapagkat ito'y walang kulay kundi itim. Ang bubuhay dito ay ang mga tuldok o tawag namin ay stippling. Siya ang magbibigay buhay sa halaman. Kung ito ay bilog, may kanto at iba pa, maaari niyong tunghayan ang mga natapos namin nito. Sa mga ipapakitang litrato mamaya, Inyong mapagmasudan ang detalyadong pagpapakita ng mga importanteng parte ng halaman tulad ng bulaklak at bunga. Bilang mga artist o illustrator, mahirap sundan ng mga pinagagawa sa amin kapag ang halaman ay natuyo na o pinatawag namin herbarium specimen. Sapagkat ang mga ito ay lapat at iba na ang kanyang forma. Kaya kadalasan, ang mga researcher ay nagpapakita sa amin ng litrato na kuha nila sa bukit. Hindi pa naman uso noon ang tinatawag namin digital picture or internet na maaling tulara namin. Kaya minsan-minsan, ang mga researcher, sinasama kami sa bukit upang makita mismo ang mga halaman sa tunay niyang kaanyuan lalo na ang mga bulaklak. Mahirap, ngunit masaya namin iginuguhi ang mga halaman na ito. Kaya ako'y lubos na natutuwa na makita ang ilan sa aming mga gawa noong kapanahuna namin. Salamat at ito ay nabigyan ng halaga sa pamamagitan ng isang eksibisyon. Marami na sa amin ang nawala na Ngunit ang aming mga nagawa ay natiling nakalaga sa pambansang museyo ng Pilipinas. Ito man lang ay aming maiiwang alaala sa inyo. Muli, ako ay nagpapasalamat at nabigyan niyo kami ng halaga sa pagkakataong ito. Ingat po tayong lahat sa aking mga kasama sa botanin. Mabuhay kayo. Thank you very much, Kuya Boy Jego, for sharing your passion, creativity, and patience in making such detailed scientific botanical illustration. Actually, I still have several of your scientific botanical illustrations of some of the ferns from the Philippines. And uh, he, not also, uh, we also included here in the exhibition some of our former uh, scientific illustrators 
which you will later uh, which we, we later show you after this program. So now, let us hear a message from a woman who used botanical illustrations or botanical art as an advocacy for conservation. She is no other than being famoso, is an, an AB Philippine Arts graduate from the University of the Philippines, Manila. She obtained a certificate of natural history illustration from the University of Newcastle, Australia, and a certificate for basic scientific illustration from the National Museum of Natural History in 2020. An advocate of Philippine native flora and fauna, Bing aims to raise awareness about its conservation and protection through her art. Bing's advocacy led her to establish the Philippine Art Society, or PHILBAS, on September 4, 2019. She envisioned a Philippine art community that creates only artworks of native flora species through revival of botanical art. A week after the founding of PHILBAS, Bing founded the Philippine Fauna Art Society, or PHILFAS, to advocate for native fauna species through art. Bing is a painter, portraitist, and a ceramicist. She had been, she has had four one-woman art shows and more than a hundred group art exhibition in her five years as an artist. As an art educator, Bing has facilitated free botanical and fauna art workshop at different museums and universities in the Philippines. During her third solo show in Batangas, Bing launched her, her bringing child, Ikot Museo, a traveling exhibit which aims to raise awareness of the Philippine endemic flora and fauna species. A traveling exhibit which aims to raise awareness on the Philippine endemic flora and fauna species. It strives to bring Bing's wildlife art to all Filipinos, especially those in communities without access to museum and art galleries. In further pursuit of raising awareness of our country's rich biodiversity, Bing began donating her Philippine Eagle paintings to Philippine embassies and Philippine consulate generals across the globe. Now let's all welcome Bing Famoso. The National Museum Director General Jeremy Barnes, Deputy Director General Theresa Labrador, to Mam Carissa Belene, to Philippine Botanical Art Society co founders Mr. Danny Tendang, Mr. Chanry Caliado, and Dr. Edwin Tediosa, to National Museum of Natural History researchers, staff, and employees, at sa lahat po ng kasama natin ngayon sa Zoom at Facebook Live. Isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. The Philippine Botanical Art Society was founded with a vision of a committed Philippine art community advocating for awareness and conservation of Philippine endemic and indigenous flora through the revival of botanical art. Philbus hopes to inspire contemporary Filipino artists to draw and paint only our country's native flora rather than the exotic species. Since its inception in 2019, Philbus has held six group art exhibitions that featured almost 400 botanical artworks of Philippine endemic and indigenous flora species. When Mr. Danny Tandang invited me to illustrate the newly discovered Amelotica cleophae, there was apprehension but excitement. Despite my experience with botanical art, I discovered that scientific botanical illustration requires a more deliberate rendering. The image of the subject should be drawn correctly in a scientific way with all its details and nuances captured. It is important to depict the life cycle and relevant dissections of the plant. One single alteration or modification would defi definitely change the taxonomic aspect, which might lead to misidentification of the species. Furthermore, I found out that it involves a tedious process because the drawing technique is different. Primarily, it is done in monochrome and the method of stippling is frequently used. Rendering a scientific botanical illustration takes dedication and focus. 
there should also be a good rapport between the artist and the scientist. As an artist, my own personal artistic inclinations would at times get the best of me. Even if I try hard to stray away from it, I sometimes make a straight line curve. But throughout the entire process, my eyes were trained to focus only on the essential, to render only what I exactly see and nothing else. Going to the National Museum and being given my own little corner to draw further inspired me to collaborate with scientists. Mr. Danny Tandang and the researchers at the Herbarium Division of the National Museum of Natural History were very encouraging and inspiring. I felt a strong sense of patriotism amongst them. They were a very dedicated and hardworking group, traits that any scientific botanical art illustrator should emulate. To further hone my skills, I enrolled in an online certificate course at the University of Newcastle, Australia. For artists who want to learn the art form, you should also invest your time and effort on botanical workshops and courses. There are a lot of helpful ways to learn. The National Museum of Natural History gives workshops as well. Try to attend these events to hone your skills as a botanical artist. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the National Museum of Natural History, as well as to Mr. Danny Tendang, Mr. Chanry Caliado, and to Dr. Edwin Tadiosa for giving the Filipino artists the encouragement and inspiration to immerse in botanical art. Botanical art is powerful in advocating for biodiversity conservation. It inspires viewers' interest in learning about the significance of our threatened species. Biodiversity is part of our natural and cultural heritage and deepens our national identity as Filipinos. I invite other fellow Filipino artists to join us in this specialized yet noble endeavor in not only immortalizing our native species, but also taking part in their preservation and conservation. Muli po, ito po ay si Bing Famoso. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Para po sa kalikasan. Good morning and happy. Thank you very much, Mambing, for sharing your passion and advocacy of promoting biodiversity conservation of our native and endemic flora and fauna in our country. Hopefully, when everything backs to normal as one planned activity, an on site botanical workshop in the forest and hope to see you soon. So now, uh, let us all hear our, his special message. Our Director General of the National Museum of the Philippines, everyone, please welcome Director Jeremy Barnes. Good morning and happy Philippine Arbor Day to all. From Proclamation Number 643, signed in 2004, every 25th of June is declared as Philippine Arbor Day to observe throughout the nation the significance of planting native trees and ornamental plants. Over the centuries, trees, ferns, and all groups of plants are continuously being studied and botanical illustration is one of the most important aspects in the discovery of novel species. It has since become a mode of communication for scientific publications, as well as in the dissemination of information through our museum exhibitions. Today, I would like to give my warmest welcome to all of you as we launch an informative and historic exhibition organized by our Botany and National Herbarium Division, The Evolution of Botanical Illustration. As your National Museum of the Philippines adapts to the new conventional methods of reaching you, our audiences, we deliver not only an exhibition that can be personally visited by the public, but is also available through virtual online access. This is from the 18th century up to the present time. It includes works of first Filipino artisans during the 18th and 19th centuries, as well as significant contributions made by former National Museum artists, which were published in different reference materials. 
Over the years, we have seen botanical illustrations becoming an essential element in many researchers of scientists, students, curators, collectors, and plant enthusiasts. Even with the advent of new technologies like photography, botanical illustrations are still being included in publications because photography may not only show the unique and hidden details of some plant parts that illustrations can. With this exhibition, we aim to highlight the integral role of botanical artists in the documentation of plant species and to recognize their skills and technical knowledge in providing references for our scientific endeavors through the years. We hope that through this exhibition, we have encouraged some of you, especially the young minds, to embark on botany and other related scientific fields through botanical illustrations. Thank you very much and stay safe. Mabuhay kayo Thank you very much, Sir Barnes. And again, happy Philippine Arbor Day. So we can celebrate this day by planting native and endemic trees, or you can create your own botanical illustration using our native and endemic trees. And now for the moment we are waiting for, the official launching of virtual exhibition website of evolution of botanical illustrations. So may we call on Maria Carissa Balane, and she will navigate us through the website. So it's me again. Um, let me take you to the virtual gallery of our uh, exhibition. Uh, but before that, uh, I want to thank Ms. Johanna Frias for designing this um, website. Again, thank you, Ms. Johanna and the rest of uh, Exhibition, Editorial, and Media Production Services Division. Okay. So if you are using your laptop or your desktop where you can, f uh, where you can uh, have multiple tabs, um, you may explore the website with me. Just key in nmp-bnhd.wixsite.com slash botanical illus. So that would lead you to the homepage of the website, as you can see in my screen. Okay, let's start to explore the website. Okay, in the upper portion of the page, you will see um, sec uh, four sections, okay? So we are now in the homepage. And if you would click the About section, here, you would see the background of the exhibition. So you can just read it uh, later. Uh, for the illustration section, you would see that the illustrations are grouped per era. Okay, let's try clicking on the illustrations from the 1700s. Yeah. So let's try clicking on the uh, Moringa Olifera. Yeah, so, in this, uh, you can view here the scientific name of the plant illustrated, the common name, English and Tagalog, the medium used, and the year where, when it was made. Yeah, so, just a little background about these illustrations. Um, these illustrations are from the uh, Dequalier plates. So Juan de Cuellar is a Spanish royal botanist who commissioned um, three Filipino artists, namely Jose Loden, Tomas Nazario, and um, Miguel de los Reyes. So their purpose mainly is to document economically useful plants. No, so <clears throat> ayan po. Um, this, uh, there are about 50 illustrations were displayed in the National Museum of Fine Art. So since the museum is now open, you can, uh, you can look for these uh, illustrations. It is located in the second floor of the National Museum of the Fine Arts building. Okay, so moving on, let's look into the illustrations from the 1800s. Let's try to click uh, Calophyllum Inophyllum. 
Uh, the common name in Tagalog is Bitaog. It was illustrated by Jose Lorenzo Guerrero. And sa lower portion po nitong page, you can see meron tayo ditong go to link. So if you would click on that, you will be redirected to the e-copy of the book where you can find hundreds more of illustration. Yan. Okay po. You can find uh, other uh, botanical illustrations here. Napakarami po niyan. So just a background about these uh, illustrations. These are from the Flora de Filipinas book. Flora de Filipinas was published by a Spanish friar botanist, Father Manuel Blanco. So Father Manuel Blanco commissioned around 17 uh, artists, illustrators, including um, um, 12 of those 17 artists are Filipino. So uh, one of them is a national artist, Felix Resurrection Hidalgo. Yan. So moving on to the 1900s illustration. So marami po yan. Ito po yung pinakamarami sa ating mga illustrations. So all of these illustrations are made by former National Museum artists. Artists from the Botany and National Arborium Division. So let's take a look at the colored uh, illustration. Uh, yan. This one, Helianthus SP. This one is made by um, Sir Nemencio Boy Diego, who is also with us today. It is uh, made uh, by uh, using watercolor, 1989-1990. Another type of illustration here is uh, this one, the black and white illustrations, Pitos Forum Resiniferum. This was made by a female botanical illustrator, Ms. Aurora Magpayo, in 1979. So the technique she used here is stippling. So stippling is a technique that is commonly used in doing botanical illustrations. Okay, so for the most recent illustrations, the illustrations from the new millennium. So let's try to click on Amylotheca cleophae. Yeah, so Amylotheca cleophae was made by Miss Bing Famoso, uh, who is also with us today. Um, this one is just recently published, so mainit-init pa po itong uh, ating botanical uh, illustration ito. This was described by our colleague, Mr. Danny Tandang, who is also an artist. So, um, if you would observe po, no, if uh, we're all... If we're going to look at all the illustrations, we can see that through time, the illustrations are becoming more and more detailed. Um, we can attribute this mainly to the presence of technology, the availability of better and quality materials, and the improving um, technical expertise of our illustrators. Again, so for the last section in this uh, website, uh, the contact section, if you have a message, if you want to email us, you may email us using this uh, email addresses here, or you may just directly type in your message and click Submit. Yan. Uh, and lastly, dito po sa uh, pinakang taas, at the rightmost corner of the page, you will see our um, of the links of our social media pages. So let's try clicking on our YouTube uh, link. Yeah, okay, so may kita po natin we are being live streamed in YouTube. Okay, that's it for the for the virtual tour of the website. So what's um, it is uh, the advantage of this uh, Wix website, no? Kasi it is very user-friendly and it's very easy to navigate. So I hope you will enjoy browsing the illustrations um, in this uh, website. So maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Isai, for taking us through the website. So the links of the website are already posted in the Zoom chat or in the comment section of the YouTube.
Now, this brings us to the closing part of the program, but uh, may we request... So, let's call on our senior museum researcher and OIC of the Botany and National Herbarium Division. Uh, let's all welcome J.D. Ann F. Pasqua. Hi, everyone. Thank you, John Ray. Good morning. So, our were able to access the website on their own. Click po ba? Can, can you give me you know, a smiley face or a thumbs up when, if you were able to access the site? So we prepared All right, am I in? All right. Sige po. So, sorry about that. Medyo mahirap talaga pag live, no? May mga <laughs> technical difficulties. But anyway, uh, yes, again, can I see some thumbs up, smiley, if you were able to access it and click the link? And, you know, browsing through our website. Sige, perhaps later. All right, let me take this, uh, this opportunity, you know, to, on behalf of the exhibition team, which is headed by Ms. Carissa, I'd like to express my utmost gratitude to all uh, the efforts and hard work of different NMP divisions to make uh, this exhibition possible. So let me reiterate some of our friends here who are through with this. Uh, first, of course, is the EMPSD. So thank you so much to uh, to Johan and Erica and Sir Alan, you know, for getting us through this uh, very interactive virtual exhibition about botanical illustrations. Uh, next, we have you know our friends from FMD in working through our exhibition, um, GPD, and of course our friends from the Museum Services Division for this amazing launch in time for the Philippine Arbor Day. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you as well to our um, uh, speakers for today, Sir Boy Diego and Miss Bing, for such a great message to our audience on their journey towards being you know, botanical artists soon. We really hope that uh, we've encouraged some of you, also the young learners, to pursue this kind of field because it's really fun to combine art and science in one, you know. Thanks to all our audiences for taking time early this morning to be with us today and for all your, uh, your support activities of the division, whether it's online or during the actual before even the pandemic. Thank you so much. We really felt that uh, you're with us into this and we're, you know, we're uh, doing all of this for you. Honor is also due to our uh, former president, uh, Noy Noy Aquino, who uh, sadly passed away yesterday. Without whom, there will be no National Museum of Natural History today. So, may this exhibition serve as an inspiration to all, especially our young aspiring learners. Um, history and scientific field is such a great career to actually take on. Let these artworks that are uh, created by past and present illustrators be our guide to the future for more botanical discovery in the Philippines. So thank you so much for being with us today. Once again, uh, thank you and mabuhay. Thank you very much, JD. Uh, before we close, so may we request all our attendees in the Zoom to open their camera for a uh, Photo attendance. So, good morning to everyone. So, don't be shy. Once again, uh... Open your camera. Come on, everyone. Okay. Waiting for others to open their camera. Okay, uh, ready? Ready? Okay. One, two, three. One more. Next. 
One, two, three. Next. Okay na. Last one. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you. So good morning to each and everyone. Happy Philippine Arbor Day. And enjoy. Uh, some of the slides will be shown later after this program. So you can stay for a moment to view some of the illustrations and botanical art or visit the website. And thank you and good morning to each and everyone. Thank you to each and everyone who attended this. Uh, our virtual launching of evolution of botanical illustrations and visit uh, the website to closely see some of the featured botanical illustrations. And now we now officially close the program. Thank you and good morning.